Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm your Dungeon Master, Darius. We're doing this master list, and last we left off, we got a new party member in the way of Momo. Best girl, don't at me. And, um, I honestly did do a little bit of off-screening, off screening if only because trying to get the last resort spell was a ginormous pain in my ass. But yeah, I eventually got it. Raises power by lowering defense to zero. And, um, yeah, Momo is awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just like her. Anyways, uh, I had done said grinding down here. We got, like, a level apiece. And now we're ready to proceed, I think. It's been a hot while, I won't lie. Not since I last played. That was, like, a couple of days ago. I mean, it's been a hot while since, uh... Been through this area, so... Mm. But yeah, Momo is pretty freaking awesome. She can silence people, she will be able to sleep people, and uh, outside of boss fights, that's going to be super useful. Lightning! <sighs> Probably should have done that to the ice toad, considering half the party is... Eh, questionably... Drunk. Ow, charge. Also, as per usual, if you hear fans, sorry, but I'm not sorry. It is freaking hot. Speaking of hot. Yeah. Yeah, Momo's probably going to level up relatively quick. Considering the fact that, um, you know, most her shit is... Or, well, she herself is pretty low level. Compared to the other two. Panel key. Stepping on the floor panel triggers a switch. Stepping off the panel resets the puzzle. The door will open when all panels have been set to gray. Do you want to try? Yes. Uh, it has been a hot while since I've done this. But I do remember that you can at the least... Uh... Hmm... That's not gonna work. It's also not gonna work. I think it done ruined this. Yep. It done ruin it. Oh, wait, nope, I'm good. Oh, wait. Oh, now I have to step off the puzzle. Oh, that's not the direction I meant to go. I swear I've played this game before. But if I go around in a circle, that's not going to work either. go. Hehe. <laughs> Fixed it. Notes, honey, Momo. I think I already read this. She seems to develop an attraction to me when I gave her chrism. She's so cute. Honey four, Momo. Can't figure out how she works. She's too complicated. Ooh, hello, treasure chests. So one of the other things in this game that the game, that it will I think at this point, actually learn ya, if you haven't at this point, as elemental weaknesses. Yes. Like, for example, what would be best against a frog made of ice? Probably fire. Down flame chrism. Ice chrism. Four rotation cubes. If you can find the matching pair, question mark. Oh yeah. I don't think I ever showed off what it is that Momo actually does. Cannon! Sorry, I like Momo. Now, with this cannon, we can actually break barrels, uh, some boxes, and there are some walls around the world that we can destroy as well. Now, that Chrism is actually her elemental weapons. They are significantly weaker, but that additional damage is really damn good, and then... <laughs> Again, 
as you can see from her uh, power, it's nearly on par with Ryu's at 12th level. 12th. Even with this, the decrepancy from using her elemental stuff. If I could make... Oh, man. I'd kind of want to make an artificer in D&D kind of akin to her now. Ah, well. I don't think it really would work too well in... Maybe it would work? I'm not sure if it worked too well in 5th edition. But yeah, with her flame chrism, she can one-shot these toads. So... Yes, the idea of possibly just grinding the ice toads has entered my mind. Oop. Double checking the walls. Ah, right. So this one's annoying. I think I pretty much brute forced this before. But we have to click the two cubes that are similar to the one over to the opposite side of what will be this pit. So, there was this one, because it's pretty much rotating the exact same order, and I think... this one? Aha! Success! Ba-dum, ba-dum! Oh no, a lone armor bot. Whatever shall I do? Pew. Oh yeah, that's right. I think elemental damage wise, the armor bots are fantastic against against them, but for some reason, physical attacks are what take down an armor bot, which I don't know, kinda makes no sense to me, but okay, this is fine. Lovely looking place, though. That's for sure. Mmm. Lotto bots. Lightning it is. Now, uh, another important thing. You can actually change your character's equipment mid-combat. So if you find yourself in a situation where it's like, Oh, hey, I need this particular sword because it's of this element. Or I need to put this on because... It won't get me killed. Well, there you go. Da -da -da. So, like, since Momo's elemental chrism weapons aren't going to do any additional damage against armor bots, then he just want to use her ammo. Oh boy, this area. All right. There we go. I th I think we want to check out this first. Yes. Because we want loot. Another ice toad situation. Uh, let's go ahead and lightning them both. Why not? And that should do in the rest of them. Maybe? Pew! Ew. That almost hurt. Ooh. On shield. Is that going to be a new piece of equipment for a certain... No, it's not. Also, I had, um... Completely forgotten that I should have, you know, armored her up some. That's tempting. Actually, if anything, I could put it on Nina. How bad do I even need money? Eh. Hello. Eh. Ow. Dang it. Chrism Beam. When Chrism Ore is subjected to high pressure, it emits a highly charged beam of light. This is called a chrism beam and has many useful applications. 
it's a laser. It's, you know. Something amplification, something, something. Look, I'm no scientist. Hey, a hyperbot. Yeah, that's probably bad. Let's well, back to that. Just want to see what madness is going to happen. Oh, it's charged up from the lightning. Increased in abilities. Thank crap for that crit. Still, increased abilities, eh? Actually, wait, that's right. I think there's a skill that I can learn off of that thing, too. Hello. You got 800, Zinni. I ain't complaining. Just a... I don't... I'm looking at that wall. There's weirdness with the textures. Alright, so... I'm going to destroy the other two. But we're going to examine the Hyperbot. Oh, I just realized how much damage uh, Momo has taken so far. Uh, that's what we like to call No Bueno. Uh, go ahead and finish the armor bot. I kind of really do wish that there was some... Uh, how to explain it? Well, that's Blitz. But what that does is a determined amount of damage. It pretty much does half your HP and damage. And then... Do, uh, does Just doles out a bunch of damage to random characters. It is definitely something best used when used... What am I doing? Rejuvenating. It is definitely... Losing power? What? Is definitely something best used when um, you're pretty high in HP and there's like one target. Mm. Oh wait, losing power as in it's got no more? As in I have to hit it with lightning again maybe? Okay. We'll try again later. Oh, quake. <laughs> now, I believe against flying enemies, quake is useless for what I hope to be obvious reasons. That was a lot of money. Let's see, I think I want to hit the red one. Ah, two hyperbox. I only need to hit the one. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to kill one before we deal with two. Never mind, he blitzes beforehand anyways. Well. There we go. So this one's still got some juice in him, so we can still... There we go, we can learn it. Again, it's a neat skill, but I don't know if I'd consider it all that useful, I guess. Increases in abilities. Then immediately gets not killed. Uh, Simone? And I think the damage that it deals is dependent on how much health it loses, too, so... You really want to have a high amount of health if you want to try to use Blitz. Curus! Do I need a Curus? Anyone need a Curus? Yes and no... It is better for Momo. You can't use it. We've already got one. Yeah, why not? She could use the defense. But again, really good. 
Hmm. Alright. So, red this way. Excellent. Dun dun. Bum bum. Bum. Wait, was this the way out? I kind of don't trust... Mm. Okay, now it's not. Moon Tears. These are exceedingly valuable. They are basically a full party heal. All HP, all MP restored. Alright. Not something we... Definitely not something I'd say that we immediately need. Considering we're still below level 20. But, you know, still very helpful. Depending on the situation. Pardon me. Just moving myself a little bit. There we go. My dar, why are you lightning all the things? Because I want to make sure they're dead. Nothing wrong with that, I think. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. And then we just gotta get through here. Alive. Oh no, a lone armor bot. Whatever shall we do? A skill that I might... Can I learn it? There is a skill somewhere in the game that essentially allows... it. I think it's just called transfer. It allows you to take some AP from one character and move it to another one. Might want to uh, see if I can't get that. Oh, that's right, this one. This is... Eh, I, I give this puzzle an irritation of... I don't know. Three out of five. Eldritch Floater. Channeling chrism or magical energy into the crystals will activate it. Oh, that's right. I think this is... Yep, this one's dependent on how much magical energy you charge into it. So if I do two shots, I think I can hit that treasure chest. Not timed or anything, it's just... There we go. Breastplate. I think... It's suitable for Ryu. Oh, hell yeah. So let's see, if two got us to that one, I think maybe five will get us to the next newest one. Four, five. And, nope, six. Two. Three, four, five, six. Da -da 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 there we go. Ivory dice. Excellent. So the ivory dice are a really nice item. Pretty much what they do is they double uh, the amount of experience that you get, but it also dub this is a thing that they always miss in guides. It also doubles the amount of um, gold that you get as well. Didn't mean to step on that. I wanted to check out where this one leads. Nowhere. Okay. Luckily, this area doesn't seem to have any monsters in it at the moment, so nothing we have to worry about. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Imagine if you put too much energy into the crystal and then it explodes. And then you just gotta fight Balio and Sunder again. 
This time we got a chick with a cannon, though. So, I don't know, I think we stand a chance. <laughs> also, I can't help but laugh every single time that I see the par like the party square up to battle and they're essentially face flat against a wall. Like, yeah, we're really ready to take them. Ugh, nice breath. Oof, that does a lot. Yeah, okay. Reminder, the damage that breath weapons do uh, is dependent on their HP. The lower their HP, the less damage it does. Yep. See, we would have had that fight one had Momo hit something. Just saying. I'm trying to think. There was an item that is going to be quintessential for Momo in the future called the Artemis Cap. I am 100% going to try to find it and 100% going to give it to Momo. Bamboo Rod. That fishing rod. Let me ask, let me ask a separate question. Is that a better fishing rod than what I got? Nope. Or is that the exact same rod that I got? Was it equipped? Option. Bamboo rod. Did I... Do I already have it equipped, and because I already have it equipped for the fish minigame... Ah, eh, whatever. Point is, I got a bamboo rod. What would I do with the old bamboo? Um... Not die, maybe. Go ahead and get the ammo back on for her. I don't... Wait. Oh, those are protobots, not armor bots. Whoops. No, still, hyperbot don't do that much damage. Almost seems like Momo particularly misses robots a lot more often than not. Might just be me. Has seemed like a habit. Okay, that's right. This one. Where it's like, ooh, look at the lasers. And then look at your party slowly dying because of lasers. Legit, it's like one damage a hit from the lasers, if I recall. Well. You don't got that instant death stuff, so... Uh... I really don't want to use the Moon Tears here, of all places. Oh, here we are. Vitamins. And might as well check out this Quake spell. And I used all those trout, so I don't have anything to heal AP besides the wisdom fruit. I'd rather not waste a wisdom fruit this early in the game. Because we're going to get uh, more good stuff. So I'm, I'm just going to... Let's see. Defender. Then Hokey. I probably still could have jolted them. But honestly, I'm mostly worried about the, um... What, which ones am I worried about? But here's the Quake spell. Why am I not terribly surprised? Alright, I think Momo's just gonna use a little bit of Jolton. What are you in defender form? Alright, we'll jolt them. 
that's not gonna work, so we're just going to shoot the hyperbot. Plain breath. Seems like it'd be the best bet right now. <clears throat> hyperbot increasing ability. Damn it. Hyperbot's annoying. Ah well, here's a flame breath. Yeah, those guys are more of an elemental resistance pair, which is super annoying. Losing power. Come on, Hyperbot, I dare you. Double dog dare you to try to blitz us again. Well now Nina is completely out of MP. And I'll be honest, I don't think using Ryu's um, dragon form is all that sustainable in the longer run. There is a really useful skill called Snooze. Pretty much all it does is it uh, gets back a little bit of HP and MP for a character. That's it. But uh, if I can learn that, then that's going to be quintessential. This room is where my father used to work. There's a hidden exit in here? Cool. You bet. My dad was really something. He was the greatest engineer in the whole world. And before he died... He told me he'd made an escape device, and had hidden it in the tower. Be a bunch of dirty magazines. Although there's something you might want not to know about your father. You see a collection of adult books. Not for sale to minors. Hmm. Not for sale for minors. See a bunch of dirty magazines. You can see a theme here. Bunch of dirty magazines. Come on. Eh. Alright, can't seem to check out that one. Thanks for ages 21 and above only. See a bunch of dirty magazines. Oh, well, I dare say your father was a dirty, dirty old man. I mean, at least sleep. Nope. Wow. Like, all of this is nothing but dirty mags. Father had quite the collection. Macia? Eat. What is any? It feels like there's a switch under the desk. You push it. Dare I? What's happening? What's that noise? Wow! Only my dad could have made something like this. But why did he build something to get away like this? Just because, I guess. My dad loved machines. Come on, let's take a look at it. Let's see, we ignite it here. I wonder what it does. Gee, I'm so excited. Oh boy. Okay, everyone ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go! Ah, uh, uh, ouch. 
Looks like the landings need a little work. What's this? It's the instruction manual. Let's see. Whoops. It says it's only supposed to be one passenger. It also says uh, to make sure to open the roof hatch before take off. Well, aside from that, it worked, didn't it? I mean, it worked. Pretty good, right? Alright, come on. If we stand around like this, they'll catch up with us. And boy, how do you see right? I won't lie, that's gonna be one of the more hilarious bits in the entire... ...game, just... ...ah. Uh, I need to make camp pretty much ASAP, though. I don't remember fully- ow, bam. I don't fully remember what it is that is out here in the wilds. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna take care of poor uh, Nina with her zero AP. Not before I take a look see around a little bit though. I seem to recall it might be something here. Oh no! Ah, curse you and not having anything that will actually help in this situation. Actually, how much damage does Quake do against these guys? Last resort! Not that we'll be able to see, but it's gonna look cool. Oh yeah! See, when... When... I think it's because the robots were floating. So like, pretty much anything that is not on the ground, you're, you're gonna witness... Zero damage from. Which is a pain in the tuckus! Oh yay, berries. Dun, dun. Oh, there it is. Ryu hears the voice of the brood sealed in the chrism. You found... The Thorn Gene. That's pretty much it. Now, what's the Thorn Gene do? Enhances special characteristics. So, if you got a character that's got that's a high defense, or um, a dragon that's high defense, then it's going to be even even higher defense. Now, before we head onward towards our our adventure, rather. I guess this means we can get back to Windia. When we do, let's try looking for your friends again, okay? Just because you're traveling with a princess doesn't make you a prince, does it, Ryu? Sorry, that was a silly thing to say, I guess. I mean, not wrong. Bill. A little hopeful. In any case, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. Well, once I save. When we return, we're going to continue off and try to get back to Windia. How much do you want to bet that we're not going to actually get to Windia by next episode? Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.